y'all so i just got out the shower not too long ago um today was a bit of a late start i've been sitting around so i'm air drying um but i just want to talk about something i'll be seeing on um, tiktok instagram that all damn social media platforms like people that's really like accepted the bare minimum and I know what it's like to accept the bare minimum. I feel like everybody at some point in time has accepted less than what they deserved. I do feel like it it comes from a place of not knowing your worth. And you got to know your worth. This goes for men and women. You have to know what you deserve. I used to be the type of person that used to be like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to judge you because you don't have this. I'm not going to judge you because you don't have that. I'm not going to judge you because you're doing this or you're doing it. Judge them. Judge them. That, that don't mean that you look down on them. That just means that you know what you deserve and what that person is offering. It's not what you deserve. There might be some other people that might be on that person's level and they're, they're going to be more equally yoked than you would be equally yoked with them. Judge them because they're judging you. They judging you knowing that they know that they don't deserve you, but you still giving them the time of day because you're like, I don't want them to feel like they're less than. You having a, a, a desire to talk to people that are on your level does not mean that you look down on them it means that you know the space that you're in just like I believe that a lot of times when you have friends um it's important to have friends that are or people around you period that are that can do some of the same things that you can do not to say like if you have a friend and your friend has like way less than you that you still can't be friends with that person but at the same time y'all not gonna be able to enjoy the same things because somebody who has a little bit more is is gonna want to do different things than somebody that has a little bit less it doesn't mean that y'all can't meet on at a, at a on an even ground but i really do believe that it's important where like if you live in your life a certain type of way that you get somebody or you have people in your life and in your circle that can match that it's important and then also a lot of times what you'll find out is like when you're around people even adults especially adults and it starts out as kids when they see that you have something that they don't have sometimes a little bit of jealousy will rear its head and jealous people jealous people are dangerous jealous people are dangerous so for so long I accepted like a lot from men. I accepted a lot from friends. I accepted a lot from family because I was just like, I don't want to look at them a certain type of way. Or I don't want to make them feel, fuck that. Judge them because they're judging you. Like I said, that don't mean that you turning your nose down at somebody. It means, okay, I know that the lifestyle that I have, you would not fit into. I know that if you treat me bad, I'm not going to be around you. It's a lot of times people will accept all kind of treatment from people under the guise of like, that's family or that's my friend or they having like a bad day or whatever. Like you, you have to know your worth. It took me a very long time to know my worth. There was so much stuff that I was accepting because I was just like, oh, you know, it's not so bad. It was bad. It was bad. Because I know what it's like to be treated well. I know what it's like to have somebody um, do all the things that I want them to do for me and me be able to reciprocate that to them. I'm not that type of person that's like, oh, you know, just do for me, do for me, do for me, because that's what you're supposed to do. Like, no, I like to reciprocate. And so because I know what it's like to have that, to to have somebody that's going to be there for you, for the, to have somebody that's not going to mistreat you, to have somebody that's not going to disrespect you, just have somebody that's going to do all of the things that you want them to do because of, because I know now what that is and because I have experienced that, it's like I'm now just understanding like okay all of these years all of this time you didn't know your worth and i know it's a lot of people regardless of your gender regardless of how your pronouns or whatever people you have accepted things that you should not have been accepted under the guise of like i don't want to go off i don't want to make it seem like i'm judging something yeah judge them 
Just like I think I think it's not smart for people who lived in a certain type of neighborhood when they get older and they start making money, you go back into that same neighborhood. You got to move differently. You can't hang out with them same friends because them same friends ain't on your level no more. So now they looking at you differently because now they want what you got. And that's how a lot of these rappers and entertainers end up dead because they're trying to keep it real and not forget where you came from. How you going to forget where you came from? You grew up there. How you going to forget how you gonna forget? And you definitely ain't gonna forget because everybody that's jealous of the fact that you are living better now is gonna always remind you of where you came from. I, I know where I came from. I know. That's why I'm not going back. The environment when I was when I was growing up in it was hostile. So why would I be able to get up out that hostile environment and then go back just to prove to people that's still in that hostile environment that are now even more hostile towards me that I didn't forget where I came from? You can't forget where you came from. You you grew up there. So, yeah, I just, <clears throat> I be seeing so many people on TikTok, um, specifically, where people just really have subscribed to struggling through love, struggling through family, struggling through friendships. And I don't, I don't subscribe to that. I'm not, I'm not struggling through shit. I'm not. If you a bad friend, I'm not fucking with you. I'm a, I'm a low maintenance friend and I try to tell my friends I'm like I'm I can't be that's a, that's going to be another video but it's like I can't be that the type of friend that like the average friend is. I'm not that type of person. I'm an introvert and I'm like I don't I'm here. I'm here if you need me. But I'm not going to be that friend that's going to be sitting on the phone with you 457 I'm mm -mm, I won't do that. I want to do that. So like yeah, I see just so many people on text out there just like you know, me and my man, we dealt with this. And, you know, yeah, he cheated on me. Or, yeah, she cheated on me. But, you know, I stayed through for why? 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 They, everybody cheats. Okay. Well, if you was with that person and they cheated on you in five months, go find somebody else that ain't going to cheat on you for nine months. And then when that person cheated on you for nine months, go find somebody that ain't going to cheat on you for, for three years. I, it, it's, it's crazy to sit through the heartbreak under the, under the guise of, like, well, everybody cheats. Everybody don't cheat. Everybody don't cheat. I don't cheat. Now, when I'm single, I'm single, but I don't cheat. I've, I've had uh, boyfriends who didn't cheat. We broke up for other reasons, but it wasn't because of cheating. So I know that there are men that exist in the world that know how to conduct themselves in a manner where they uh, respect their relationship. And I also know that it's women who know how to conduct themselves and respect their relationships. So I don't, I think it's very unhealthy and toxic to sit and struggle through bullshit with somebody. Especially when it's bullshit that they're causing. Like, you cheating, you lying, you beating on me, you mistreating me, you disrespecting me and all that. And you're just like, I'm going to stay because, you know, me and he or she or whoever, we, we've been together for so long. N yeah, that's why they're still doing it. Because you've been sitting around being dumb. Being dumb. It, I feel like that comes from a place of low self-esteem. And everybody has been there where you just kind of accept the things that you feel like you deserve. And it goes beyond love. Because if you loving somebody that much, you you that's some unconditional love type shit. And I made a video about that. Yeah, we, we don't do that. It's 2022. Ain't no unconditional love. Your all your shit should have conditions. All of it. What I say, with an exception of your children, and sometimes not even them. So yeah, I just I just want to talk about that. I wanna I like coming with these like little short videos and stuff like that so that I could kind of just like get some stuff up off my chest when it comes to the things that just be going on in my head. I'm about to just start recording them and talk about them when I feel like it. So yeah. Um I'm finna finish getting myself together and I'm gonna edit this video so that it can go up. Um yeah, so have a great day. God.